Hello folks and friends, this is Ricardo Francis, the Venting Vigilante. It's good to be with you again today. Today I'm going to continue from my last video and I'm going to talk to you about money. And money and more money and what is money? Money, folks, has been around a long, long time, since the days of civilization, since the days of the Bible. We all have different meanings and different concepts and different understanding of money. Do we need money and why do we need money? You see, money is a legal tender. Money is a system of exchange. Money has been developed as a system over time. In the old days, I will give you my cow and you'll give me some land. I will give you my sheep and you'll give me your goat. But of course, things have different value, friends. Friends, you know, money. And why do we need money? Many of us work to make money so we can pay our mortgage, we can send our kids to school, we can buy that fancy car, we can buy that wonderful house that we dream about. We want to go on a fancy vacation. But the more money and the more money we have, does it really make us happy? Can money define our personality? Many of us believe that we don't have any money, we have no personality, we have no purpose. But that is not quite true. Money can only buy us things, the things that we need to have maybe temporary happiness. Folks, I will give you an example of what is considered money and how our concept of money is so misconstrued. And here we go. The butcher, when I was a boy, went to the goat herder in the village. He says, I want to buy you a goat to slaughter. The but the goat herder says, give me a hundred dollars. The butcher went away, came back with a hundred dollars. The goat herder says, no, I'm sorry. Uh, that's one money, I need plenty money. The butcher went away and he came back. Of course, he converted a hundred dollars into smaller bills. And he gave the goat herder twenty dollars in smaller bills. The goat herder was quite happy because he think I have lots of money. Not understanding that it was only a twenty dollar bill. I mean, twenty dollars convert. I mean, a hundred dollars, and the, uh, of course, he was being robbed. The, the 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 point here is that we love money as people. We want money, and we want more money, and money, and money. But do we ever sit back and think? Wait a second. Do I really need this money? Do I understand what I'm doing with this money? Do I really understand what money is good for? The fact remains, my friends, money doesn't have any loyalty, you know? Money doesn't have any spirit. But we seem to have an attachment to this thing called money. But money goes up and down. Money have different value based upon the different currency, based upon the different country. So be very careful about how you love money and see money. Folks, I love you. It was a pleasure to be with you today. See you next time.